Hello, my name is Paul Baker. And my name is Carol Bell. Um, we decided to share with you folks today a little tiny house we built recently. Um, we always wanted to do one. And uh, we just, uh, I've been in construction for a long time. And I thought to myself, I could probably build one. So we used a lot of recycled materials. And uh, we'd like to just show you around and, and see what you think. Okay, with that being said, let's all, I'll take a look, look inside and, and take a look around and I'll try to do a, describe a little bit about it for you. Come on in. Here is, uh, as you can see, it's very well, op very opened. It's uh, the footprint's 12 by 24 and the porch is 6 by 24. And this is the kitchen which uh, we made use of Craigslist and we was able to obtain all these cabinets with the sink and countertop for free on Craigslist and Carol um, repainted them and we bought some new knobs for it and it's very inexpensive to do and save a lot of money um, the um, floor is there's snap flooring, but underneath is a lot of recycled materials um, on the floor system. The, uh, the upstairs, this bead board that you see here, I tore down a camp up in Glover, Vermont, which had a lot of bead board in it, and we built a log cabin for the folks. And again, they're recycled. This is from the 40s, painted up country white, which saved a lot of money. And... Uh, as you look around, you'll see um, this is a lot of recycled materials like shelving. Um, used to be an old trailer here. We made use of a lot of building material. This was the boiler room door. Um, the roof structure is basically from an old trailer. Uh, all the trusses and the metal roofing, the insulation, the sidewalls, framing was all two by six. They were the four joists in the trailer. We made studs out of them and uh, made use of that and with the installation also from the trailer. And um, so up here is the uh, industrial look railing. It's all items I purchased on the internet. I'll cut the size and uh, use the, them for the railing system. Um, we do have a ladder which I made to go right here and you can use it on either side of the lofts for access to the loft um, which works pretty well. Uh, I'll put it back unless we're going to go up and take a look. I can go up and take a look and show you up there. The loft area is actually two lofts. Uh, this one's probably uh, eight feet by twelve feet, and it also has a catwalk which connects you to the other four by twelve loft. Basically, four foot headroom. Um, with uh, it's all wired for uh, you know your cable and Wi-Fi and whatnot. South facing, I guess four windows here for southern exposure and you know solar gain and whatnot. Um, has fans and it's a pretty pretty compact unit, but I think there's plenty of room here. All in all, it's about 400 square feet if you count the loft area, so should be more than sufficient you know, enough for someone to uh, take advantage of it. Live here, you could put a mattress up here, um, small short bureaus and whatever you need to do. Now we'd like to have you uh, take a look at the bathroom we did. It's about a six by seven bathroom. Take a look at the vanity and uh, all the other items that are in here in the bathroom. So let's come on in and take a look. This here is the little vanity we got. It's a 24 inch vanity with a medicine cabinet above and ample lighting and the ceiling is the same type of recycled uh, beadboard from an old cabin that we tore down that was built in the 40s 
a lot of recycled items here. So the, the flooring is recyclable, recycled from uh, the old trailer that used to be here, and uh, some built-in cupboard and shelving, which is always handy here and also up here. So I uh, tried to make use of all the you know area with, that we could and make it real uh, you know practical for everyone for a tiny little house. As you can see here, we got a we put in a full size shower, 36 inch shower stall for um, you know it's uh, more than adequate uh, for anybody's needs. Uh, it's got a nice little uh, fan light for exhaust to keep out all the um, you know water vapors and whatnot. So um, should be fine. In here we have our little compact uh, six by seven utility room which has quite a bit of things, items in here. A stack washer and a dryer and a Renai propane instantaneous water heater and here's our panel box and our water tank and water purification system and uh, a lot of little things in this little area but it's more than adequate for most people's needs. And on that side over there uh, we have a built-in like water softening. In here on this side is uh, you know, our water softening system because of the artesian well. We need to have a little bit of a system to take the iron out. Uh, also I put some built-in shelving here for, you know, I call it a pantry, but you could put canned goods or it's always nice to have some extra space in a little area here. Uh, right now I'd like to thank you all for uh, taking a little tour of our little project that we uh, thought we could do and uh, actually it took us probably about five months to actually do it. Um, it's probably not what someone, everybody would like but it's something that we were able to do and what, what material we had to utilize. So I appreciate you taking the time to just take a look at this little video and you all have a good day. Thank you. I just wanted to point out that uh, this is a stationary structure. The, uh, it's sitting on 16 uh, piers which are, were donated by the telephone company. They're telephone poles, uh, basically in the ground about 5 feet and in the sand and uh, don't seem to have any problem with uh, frost or anything like that here. Um, also there's skirting all the way around it. You can't see it here because this is the porch but interior there's uh, rigid insulation and uh, panels that go between the two piers that insulate the crawl space and uh, they seem to do an adequate job.